Thank you. Have a headache? Take an aspirin. Experiencing joint pain? Take an aspirin. Struggling to maintain a pregnancy due to embryonic loss? Could you just take an aspirin? Dairy cattle experience a high rate of embryonic loss, which is exacerbated during the summer when they are experiencing heat stress. Now, there are many factors that influence this embryonic loss, one of which could be premature secretion of prostaglandin F2 alpha. Now, prostaglandin F2 alpha causes the demise of a corpus luteum, which is a structure on the ovary that produces progesterone. And progesterone is essential for the establishment and maintenance of pregnancy. Without progesterone, there is no pregnancy. So how do we reduce the secretion of prostaglandin and allow the embryo time to develop and uh, send a signal for maternal recognition? Well, maybe we can use aspirin. Aspirin is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that inhibits the synthesis of prostaglandins. In a preliminary study, we actually gave dairy cattle aspirin on days 14 and 15 of the estrus cycle during the time of prostaglandin synthesis and secretion, as well as the time of maternal recognition. We actually found that aspirin was able to reduce prostaglandin metabolites in the blood by 1.8 fold. In addition, we also found that aspirin was able to extend the days to luteal regression by 1.5 days. So based on these results, we wanted to examine the effects of aspirin on pregnancy rates in dairy cows during the summer when they are experiencing heat stress. We gave aspirin to dairy cows bred for the second or greater artificial insemination and then looked at the pregnancy rates. The aspirin was actually given again on days 14 and 15, and there was no difference between pregnancy rates. And in fact, the pregnancy rates were 21% for the aspirin-treated group, which had 277 cows, and 27% for the 279 cows. So although we found no difference in pregnancy rates in lactating dairy cows receiving high-dose, short-term aspirin administration, potentially the use of low-dose, long-term aspirin administration, or a more specific prostaglandin F2-alpha inhibitor could help to improve reproductive performance in lactating dairy cows. This not only would help to improve producer profitability, but it would help to maintain the sustainability of dairy products for consumers like you and I. Thank you.